strange occurrences are the new norm, especially since we need the dragon cycle. We send a few in here. Wayfinder, not a moment too soon. They're about to get into it. You're not joining us? You know the situation as well as anyone. Getting into the middle of that group? I'd rather face down Epark again. No. I think I'll leave that to you. I just wanted to catch a glimpse of it myself. Don't tarry too long, soldier. You're overdue for some leave. Welcome home. Wayfinder. Looking fly there, looking fly. Look at that. That's the tail clip. Yes, I would say it does. Everything in order then. Wayfinder, good. Let's delay this no longer. No need to rush now. Galrath does so enjoy our presence here. I've seen you a lot in battle. <laughs> We've got nothing to worry about. What would you know of battle? You are not present for... Enough! We will not waste time with idle chatter. There is still much to be done in Niles. Let us proceed then. Dagda, present the terms we've agreed upon. The Cryptus incursion into Tyria will cease immediately. No Cryptus will enter Tyria again without direct invitation. And any remaining loyalists who do, you're free to dispose of. Additionally, the Astral Ward will maintain a presence in Nios until such time as it is deemed by us to be unnecessary. In return, amnesty will be granted to the Cryptus, and we will recognize Petha as the legitimate sovereign of Nios. We accept your terms. Perhaps now there can finally be peace. We must hope so. If this were to happen again, I promise you that it would not end in negotiations. Your thoughts, Wayfinder? Well, this is a chance for peace and friendship. We've laid the foundation for a lasting peace and friendship here. Let's not waste that opportunity. We will not. There is also the other matter we discussed, Gareth. Do you accept? I do. Ramses will have a place here as long as he pleases. My... my lady. Your affection for Tyrians is no secret. Ramses. And you have more than earned a place as our ambassador. Thank you, my king. I will not let you down. That leaves just one final thing. You, Wayfinder. Uh, yes. While there are many who have fought alongside me, none have been more steadfast or capable. I do want to thank you, Wayfinder. Your aid was clearly needed here. As long as I live, your name will never be forgotten in Nios. You have my eternal thanks. Watch the entire credit roll. <laughs> That's an achievement. Well, that's it. That's the expansion. So what, what can I say about this? I mean, I didn't really play dedicated as I... 
as I hoped. I don't remember we had an expansion like this before. And what I mean by that is that... Uh, like how the thorns... Pad of fire... End of dragons... All of them you could play from start to finish in, this, in the same uh, on release. But here it was like... Uh, this was like a living story. But it was marketed as an expansion. The living stories work the same way. You did like an episode. Now you have to wait for an X amount of time. And then you could do it to do the next episode. I'm not sure if I fancy this way for an expansion. I think I prefer the first concept that uh, everything will be available on release. And then we have the living stories. But yeah, I don't know. Anyway, Ramses, congratulations. Congratulations. We couldn't have done this without you. We couldn't have done this without you. I am humbled by your praise, Wayfinder. But I nearly did what anyone should be willing to do for their homeland. Truthfully, I have been a small part of something greater. That is enough for me. But I am pleased that I've earned your respect. And I hope your friendship as well. Of course, Ramses. How do you feel about being named Ambassador? It's difficult to know how to feel. Mere hours ago, I entered Tyria for the first time. And now I'm going to stay here. It's exciting in its way, though. The smells and sensations, the lights and colors, the strange shapes of the creatures. I'm not sure I'll be much use as an ambassador, as distracted as I am. I wonder if Arena will be willing to lead me around. I think she will. I guess I will go and talk to this guy. I haven't managed to talk to him at all. I mean, it must sting to be on the losing side. It seems you care little about the fate of your people. You believe Pather can rule the Cryptus then? It is power and authority that rules in Nios, Tyrion. As long as she holds them, the Cryptus will follow. But do not think that Pather alone is capable. It is not Providence that has placed the crown atop her head. If she fails, it is a minor setback. The throne of Midnight can seat another. I'm sure he is salty. I'm surprised you're part of this. Did you expect to see me in chains? You Tyrians can be so naive. Allow me to enlighten you. I served at the side of the king for longer than your kind can conceive of. Who knows the cryptus better than I? Our fledgling king is wise enough to know she will need my counsel. That is worth more than retribution will gain her. Let that be a lesson for you then. Your sense of justice will always be subservient to your practical needs. Sammy he doesn't like us at all. It must sting to be on the losing side. Do I not stand here among the victors, Tyrion? Do I not still have my horns? My allegiance to Epoch ended with his betrayal of my brother. It was the only loyalty I held higher. You may not count me as a true ally, but here I stand all the same. It seems you care little about the fate of your people. My people? You know nothing of my people. You understand so little, but you speak so boldly. I have given everything for the survival of the Cryptus. I have acted always for the future of Niles. But I see what you cannot. That the Cryptus can only be led through strength. I did what needed to be done. Do you have the conviction to do the same? 
Oh, uh, tr trust me. We do. It's Olivia. Clear. There's a lot of people to talk to. That's not a joke. What did you report to Iskaran? What did you report to Iskaran? That Betha's army was winning and that Astral Ward support should be sent to end the war. What? Not what you expected. I'm a man of my word, Wayfinder. I asked you to prove that you could win and you did. I held up my end of the bargain. He took a little convincing, of course, but I know how he thinks. A chance to avenge the deaths of Vas, Hakim, and Mabon. To give a punitive lecture to Epar. He was never going to miss that opportunity. <laughs> Maybe Iskar will make you the ambassador to Naios. Maybe Iskar will make you the ambassador to Naios. <laughs> I like you, Wayfinder. Have you changed your mind about the Cryptus? Why would I have? I never doubted that Pathus forces could win. Just what her victory would really mean. We're going to find out if they're as capable of peace as you hope. It'll be a long time before we know the answer. I'm no warmonger, Wayfinder. If they maintain the peace, I am happy to do likewise. If Tyria is safe, I am satisfied. All right. I think I am done up here, am I? I mean, well, over here, I have a lot of people to talk about in the garden. Try to keep the astral war a secret. The value of secrecy has not diminished, but I must admit it will be difficult to hide what has happened here. And a truth half uncovered is often more dangerous than one fully revealed. There is time still to shield Tyria from the knowledge of its own frailty, then that must be done. I will evaluate our options, however, and come to whatever conclusion best suits Tyria as a whole. Why didn't you come to help us sooner? Such accusation. From your tone, one would think my support never arrived at all. You are not so naive as the rest of the Wayfinder. You know better than foolish idealism. Until I could be certain that my support would ensure your victory, committing our forces would have been pointless. I do not act without careful consideration. I have lived a long time with the consequences of my prior impulsiveness. Will this peace hold? I expect so. But there are contingencies for any eventuality. 
we will not be caught unaware again. It will take far beyond your lifespan for their forces to grow strong enough to be a threat again anyway. Oh, but thank you. will last only as long as we remain strong enough to enforce it. That is the only reason it ever lasts. Hey, Kiona. How's it going? Good to see you, Balkan. Didn't Ios treat you well? Ah, yeah, you know. It was pretty intense. But uh, nothing I couldn't handle. So, anyway, now that we've both got leave, maybe you'd want to go somewhere? Holbrook is, is nice this time of year. Sure, why not? Alright, so they're heading to Holbrook. Nice. General? Can you trust Xantheron? One need not trust a predator if you remove its claws. And he still has his uses. There are many loyalists left, and we need them to join us if we are to keep this dream alive. They will listen to him. Ultimately, that is more important than the punishment he unquestionably deserves. We are forced to compromise. In many ways, politics bloodies one's hands more than war. May you spend your twilight years in battle instead. So you have no aspirations for the throne yourself? None whatsoever. There is a weight that comes with the crown that I have no desire to carry. My role lies elsewhere. Haitha has proven that she can lead our people, but there will be difficulties that better suit my expertise. When those arise, I will offer my counsel. That is all that is needed of me. Do you think the peace will last? For the immediate future, yes. The people have tired of war. This will be an opportunity for them to prosper. But time will weather that belief, and people will forget what war cost them. We will have to remain vigilant. I promise you this, however. War between Nios and Tyria will not come again as long as I draw breath. Let us hope my fellows feel as strongly as I do. To think I could have made a snack of you when we first met. And now, you've proven yourself an entire meal. <laughs> That's very kind. You've decided to spare Xantheron? Xantheron is a pragmatist. He will side with us, as long as that remains his best option. I intend to keep it that way. And we need to gain the support of the remaining loyalists. This is the time for reconciliation, not purges. Besides, in a way, having to serve under me is the most bitter punishment I could have given him. True that. How do you feel about the Astral Ward being stationed in Nios? There was never any other choice. They contributed their blood to our freedom. And they are too strong to refuse. Iskaran worries about war returning. Well, if this reassures him, so be it. Besides, you Tyrians really are delicious. 
If they ever become a problem, we'll simply have a feast. How does it feel to finally sit on the throne? Comfortable. Though I'll need to do some redecorating. Epoch never had much taste. In truth, the crown is heavy. There are thousands of wounded to be tended to, dead to be buried, homes to be rebuilt. I knew the cost from the beginning, of course. A king must bear the burden of the entire kingdom. It will be many days before things are right. There will be little time for sleep, but there will be time for dreams. It should have said like king. Rip this king now instead of lord, but I don't know. That's just my opinion. I'm done over here. I think I'm done over here. Uh, let's go downstairs. That's my exit. I'm pretty sure that is my exit. So Okay, well let's just wrap everything up here. There is a lot uh, of stuff around here. There is someone's oh soldier. Wayfinder, you made it. So did you. Your help on the field was that entrance. Your power is incredible. <laughs> Thanks. Still getting used to how it feels. What is next for you, then? Not sure. Tyria doesn't know what happened here or in Nios. I don't know how long we can go without telling them. I guess we're following Iskaran's lead until then. So long as everyone is safe. He knows we need to do something. Tyria is blood in the water now. Who knows what's sniffing around? Or is ready to bite. Right. How about you? Any exciting wizardly duties? Exciting? Maybe. Once we've figured out what to do with the fractal inhabitants, I, uh, might explore the mists. There's just, uh, there's so much out there to explore, to learn, so many things that might help Tyria. That sounds like quite the adventure. Are you gonna be okay without, a uh, me? Everyone is going to be fine. Good. I'll see you later, Commander. Wavefinder. Uh, sorry. Goodbye, Zoja. Commander, she, she is still in there. She is still in there. This one is not marked on my map. It's showing us down.
Do I need to find uh, all of the locations? Because there are a bunch of locations. border trying to show them how to paint uh, it's going uh, not that well here not sure what this is playing hide and seek there's nothing here Livia done here by looks of it. I need to go down one more. Should probably go down over here. to experience snow and their holidays.
Is that up or is it down? It's over here. War room. Okay, so what do I have left? I have one thing down there. That's what I'm not getting. Frightened cryptis. Hey pal. Okay, I found all the locations. Are you going to die? That's a long way down. It's a long way to find out. He's not doing it. That's it. We're done. Well, overall, it it was okay. It was an okay story. I didn't feel that there was much build up towards it, but it worked. I mean, I think the build up was the intention of releasing it episode based, but I don't know. But uh, yeah, again, this felt more like a uh, season than an expansion. But I hope that I am that that was only so they had uh, more time. They bought themselves more time to uh, make Jant here as good as possible. I don't even know where Jan, uh, where that will be, actually. Isn't Jant here still up? Isn't that, like, up here somewhere? Can we close to Grandmar Valley? I think Jant here would be, like, over here somewhere. Can, or is it more this way? I don't know. Over here? Is that that? I don't know. Oh well. Now for the prologue. Prologue? Shouldn't be epilogue? So where did that one is here? Yeah. Prologue should be... Odd. Oh well. Uh, I am uh, I'm done. I should be done.
Okay. Well, uh, that's uh, that's that. I thought we had something more after this, but apparently that was just a duplicate of the prologue. So that's it. Well, um, I will be stopping here then. And then, uh, well, I, I think I will be back with this when the expansion comes in, uh, like, what, a month? And I hope I can dedicate more time to that. I'm, I, well, actually, I think I played kind of dedicated when the End of Dragons came. But uh, yeah, we, we will see. From what I've been reading from End of Dragons, I mean from uh, Call of Yanti or whatever it's called, the upcoming expansion, it looks, well, it sounds very good. So we will see. But anyway, uh, so yeah, I will be back tonight at about... Uh, well, when? 10? 10 p.m. 10 p.m. summertime? 11 p.m. summer? Sometime around there? And uh, then we will continue. I don't know, I mean, then we will uh, most likely jump into. Um, uh, what's it called? Um, Elder Scrolls Online. I, I think so, at least. I will uh, check out uh, some stuff and then I will make up my mind. If not, then we're going to be jumping back into Ghost of Tsushima. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on hopefully then. And until then, take care and uh, good night everyone. Bye.